I did this one in, in English. Uh, so on the monthly chart, we are still reject. We are still on support here from this candle, and these weeks here, which are aligned with all this area, which is a really strong support. See how many candles are closed and the weeks here. So this is this very. It, this is a very very strong support. If we lose this. It's tricky, but it, this is a monthly chart, so in a month the price can go up and down, and that's it. And here on the on the indicators, it's still neutral, so doesn't matter too much. Weekly, we we are bouncing from this week here, this area. That's where you have we have to check the trade. When the price goes down, you see the last weeks or the candles closing. If the candles close in a week above this area, which is trying to go there, next week if it's above, we go up. If it's below, we might go down, especially if we close below this one here. Just by reading the candles and the supports and resistance. I'm not using even the moving average, but on moving average, we rejected the 89, the 12, and now this one might be going here to reject the, this one, or we can go come come here already to reject, or even get a support for a bullish case on on the 21 white one and the 20. Both are here on these tops here on these candles close here. This is the area to short or to make a long. Longs can be from from this area to if one or two candles close above, we should go up until here. I think this is just to short short or take profit. It uh, depends on each person. Okay, supports on the weekly are here at the moment. This is a very strong support, and of course the 20 year maybe on this week here. This area it's all support until here. Okay, on the weekly chart, not on the monthly. Weekly is on this 5,340. 5, this is a very strong support, not tested. And then we still have this one to test, which is the 6,398, more or less, or 6,500, more or less. So basically, I have orders until here, buying orders for this area. Actually, until yeah, until here I have buy orders and the stop loss is below. If we go down, I do another entry. Okay, so this is the weekly chart. If we lose these these two candles here, we probably come here again or for a double bottom. Who knows? There's this stop here, as I said. This one also was already tested in the past, so we have this one very low, so I don't know if we get here. I have orders here, and I have orders around 2,700, 2,600, around here. This is where I have some orders, but let's see. Might We might consolidate here and go up. Let's see what it does. Okay, day. We are shrinking here. But this last one, you know, this closed above 21, this closed above 21, this closed to above 21. This Yesterday we came down and back, but kind of above 21 is not really above, so it's tricky, but we can consider that it's still above, at least this support here on the candle, so... So it's still up, so I think now my, we might come even one more time, but we might come up now. We don't know, it's shrinking over here. This is the daily, and it's really, this is a big buy, so it's pointing up basically that we go up, because the buy, the buy, was, the buy was very strong here. And this buy basically was this, I said yesterday, or a few days ago, that's where we should go, to this top, and it came. So... It's quite easy if you understand candles to see where the bots buy and sell, and we are shrinking here now. 
for uh, extension, compression to extension, so four hours. So we managed to hold this, and now we are here. We're checking the 21 moving average, this time and second time, and now we might come here to test this support here, on this area here. I hope so, because I'm in a short, and I get managed to get this as well. Uh, and yes, so buy areas, it's where we are now until here. So everything is buy, buy. Here it we already tested. Here we didn't test. So this is from here until here. And where we are now are buy areas. Stop loss can be here, here, or here. So this is, this is a good buy, 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 continuation. And we might come just to here or here, and then we go up. I'm quite sure we come here again, or at least here and here. Let's see. I don't know, but this is the area to buy. This is the area to sell. And then we will see. It's all about risk management. RSI, it's still neutral. Stochastic is pointing up. So kind of, I think we go up at least a little bit, maybe here here or here to this candle close but we might come this this rejection was from here very easy as well and this week so we're still missing this one here on this area and here it might come here again or even here we don't know but because of this candle let's see what it does this is this is a, a bearish engulfing with continuation now we are going up but I didn't see any new bullish engulfing like this one here so we are going up I think to come down again and come here and this is the buy areas which is like this area here on this candle and this area and this area are all to buy but if we come here we don't lose the the higher low on the big scale, macro scale. If we start to come close below this area, we are losing and we should come down. But if we are until here, we are fine. And it's just higher lows here on the on the macro to four hours. I still think this is a, a very strong buy. When we come from up, then we might come down again. And this is a very strong buy here because we didn't did the support resistance flip on the 5400 more or less all this area 5500 i have buys here if we lose this area here i think we can below but this is a to buy from here until this area where we are now it's good or you can buy on strength after two or three candles close above here you can buy on strength as soon as it goes up touch support and then back up it's another area because all these areas are to sell 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 so let's see what it does i think we come here maximum to this area here and then back down and then we come here but i don't know that's for only what i think we are here consolidating between here and here at the moment and one hour well, now it's already up, so the price should come here or here and then back up. Here already the buy on the 21 was already on. Now we're rejecting that one. We have already still the 20. We have the 20 here, 21 and the 12. We can come here and here and then back up. Let's see. This candle here on this one, what this one area. Oh, so I think we might go up from here or touch here or here and up. We are basically here, maybe compressing again, so then we can come here or down again. This is the one hour. So we might come just here. That's what I think. To these weeks here, to these weeks, because this one, or we already come to this one here, and that one, and now we are testing the new ones, which are here, and this area here. And that's it. This is a bullish engulfing on one hour. So it's we are still going up. Maybe 
this is the buy areas now from now until here and here and the sales are here or take profits and we never know if it can can keep on going up RSI it's or uh, stochastic is already pointed down so here also we, we might have a new push here up so maybe down up and down let's see what it does and yeah now with the trend line okay so we managed to help support on this trend line we are rejecting this area i think we come here or here to this trend line again one more time and then maybe down and we are here and then we have all the other buy areas but for now we are holding support on this trend line that comes from here here until there and we hold this one was saying that we were going up and i managed to get it exactly here with the same with the same concept i used on the 4000 when we went up and then i waited also i managed to get here and then i waited also to do this it's always the same straight strategy why did i wait here because we we got the bounce from this top here yeah so this is the bounce was this top very easy and then when you look at all this area here all this area here and we were here see we were i looked at this week here which is the lowest and the big support on this all this structure here and i made the entry here exactly on this week here and the price after a few hours came exactly here and then made a bullish engulfing and i made a, re a good profit not with loads of money but and then i'm already selling here and yeah so i'm but i will might i might close my my short here or here and then i'll reassess to make a long this is for scalping inside this triangle so because i'm in a short and i'm seeing that we might just come to here to this support or this support again and then we might come up to here i will just close my short where is it just a few money so i'm here with 50 percent profit on a 50x i managed to get here and i don't even know i was sleeping i woke up already in a short only with a bit of money because i had more money and i didn't make the flip with enough money to to make a long i need to put at least like I don't know, maybe one thousand dollars, two thousand dollars on this one, because I was already in a long and it made the flip, and I now I only have three hundred dollars. But it's still money. I have fifty percent profits here, as you can see, and I'm I will close it maybe here or here. I'm checking which which candles are not the areas who were untested, but everything was tested, so I'm trying to figure it out. I think I will just close it now. And it's still a bit of money. Might just wait for the price to come to this to this candle here. Yeah, it's already coming, so I, I might close now, and I'll just wait. Or I just actually I move the stop loss here. Yeah, I'll just move the stop loss to here. If it comes down, I get out and already in profit. If I'm lucky, it maybe it comes down here and I make the sell and I, I close it maybe on on this area. No, actually not there, but here on the on this on the moving averages and this is just a 15 minute chart and yeah i can put on one hour but on 15 minutes it's good for scalping so this is the horizontal resistance this is the trend lines trend lines i have shorts here and then let's see what this now it's coming here i might just so imagine if I have $300, I will put, but the problem is that my net here is not so good. I'll check where we are. I'll put here like on the 6,805. 6,805, 150, and buy long. And I, I will, close 50% of my position on this scalp and the rest I'll just move the stop loss which I didn't put at all because I, I believe that this is, was a very strong area and I didn't want to get the weak 
to get it and I could add more with these ones on the top so I just this one I didn't put any stop loss because these ones have the stop loss above and I knew that we will reject this area here so that's why I'm trying to close it now but as you see my internet it's very bad and and the site when it it's not holding so it's I take hours to make my trades I need to do them before the a movement otherwise as you see I'm I press buy and it's not doing anything and I'm with 50% profit, 4% profit, and yeah, so I have to wait. Anyway, so as you know, that's what I will do. I'll just take out 50% here. Ah, okay, it came now. Confirm. See, I'm trying to close this. Press play, press to confirm this, and it's not doing anything. I have to wait because it's crashing. When the oh, so now only now, I don't know if it's from my internet, but I think the internet is fine or the servers in Indonesia. But every time we have a crash, it was like Bitmax that their system overloads, everyone buying and selling, and the bots and the servers don't hold. So it's better to do the trades beforehand while it's like consolidating but because as soon as it there's a big movement the site goes like this for me at least but but the trade is on so it's already confirming so no problem and i'll just move here and basically i'm getting out of the position 50 percent here and the rest here on this area actually here on the 6781 which was an area that the price didn't come yeah here where the price didn't come to test so i will get out of the position here and i already did some good profits and i think we have one more push up maybe just to here as i said or here this is more advanced trading on leverage because if you use coinbase you know, if you buy here and you sell here, the, the, the taxes, the fees are very high. And you need to make at least like a big swing trade, maybe from here to here, to be more profitable. Because if you're going like buy, sell, buy, sell, you, you just check the fees and they take a big percentage. It's better to invest on big swings like here and let it go to the top. And then you keep on taking profits. Because the takers fees and the makers fees, they do the same for makers and takers. And for instance, you know, on Bybit, oh, it's still confirming shit. When I make a, wait. Oh fuck, it get out. I need to to log in again. Oh shit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I need to do this fast and close this video. But on Bybit, if you do, if you are waiting for a buy here and a buy here, and the price, you already have a limit order there waiting, you get money from, from the trading fee. It's a maker's fee. If you make a stop loss, it's a, a, a taker's fee and you lose money. If you buy on market price, it's a maker's fee, you lose money. But my short was already also waiting on this area. And because it was already there waiting, I, I got some money. Basically, you make money on fees when you do the maker's fee on Bybit or other exchanges. But Coinbase, they are doing the same for maker's fees and, and taker's fees. And it's not worth. So it's good to have a part of your money on Bybit. You can do leverage, but you don't, you don't need to do leverage. You can do just 1x or 2x. And... And then if you have the money waiting, you get money on the trades. You can even make, see, the price, this is a good le lesson here. See, the price already touched the 21 and already trying to go up. But I think we still come here one more time to this area. But let's see what it does. But this is a buy and you have the stop loss on break even. And if it comes down, you just quit. See, it's, it's like rejecting this one. Let's see what it does. I see, I see it more on the 20 here, on this area. 
as a support. This one was tested yeah, here. Actually, it will be here on this 6,795 because of these three candles that this we, we went up here, but we didn't come down to test this top here. So we are coming to this area for sure. And the buys are here and the stop loss can be here, here, or many entries here, stop loss here or here. And then the sales are here. This is just bots buying on the on the lines. As you see, this is very mathematical. See, from down, up, all the candles closed above. This is when they went, this one went for that one I said. To get all this liquid, liquid uh, this pool here, and li liquid, liquidated many people, and suddenly went up and made a bullish engulfing. And that's it. Okay, I think cool. Daily chart very important again. And we are here on this triangle. We have all this area to reject, or even come here. We never know when it does. When it does. So I think we we will come here. We come down and and consolidate here, or maybe we we then we never know. We suddenly we can come here and then up up and here is the big test of Bitcoin. If we manage to close, like here we never manage. See, all the candles close below when we came down, and and big. And we had this big, big crash, which is was natural. And yeah, and you buy here on the RSI, all these areas. So you have this big crash. And now this is the big test. If we see like some, a few candles, like these ones closing above, we go up. Even on this trend line, if we start to be here for many time without coming down, not and having many candles closing above this trend line here. And also this trend line. So if we have many candles closing above this area below this, we might go up and make a short squeeze. So it's about trying to see when we get here to buy and put the stop loss like maybe a here or below this week and wait for it to explode and expand up. If we see like many rejections from here or from here, we come down again. So it's how it works with the candles. You need to check the RSI everything and then make trend lines so we are here inside this one we are here inside and this was a big buy from that area i said and yes yeah, so i think we go up i think and we are here compressing for an expansion up or down we have a big rejection from here we have a big buy and we are 50 50 probabilities to go up or down also here we are 50 50 but i think we go up but the rs the stochastic is pointing down but who knows if we come down a little bit and then up and then it starts to move up again so so i think this was a very good explanation how everything works and basically uh, i'm going to explain again when we came to the 3,800 and we go up and we close the candles here and we were consolidating, I told everyone that the buy would be here. This buy, which is, was the sign that happened here on the on the, yesterday's little pump, this pump here, it was the same kind of way to buy here. Why did I find, I found this area here to buy? Because then I went to the 15 minutes chart. I already explained in the past, but I'm doing a longer video. Wait, I need to put one hour and from one hour. Okay, it's here. So imagine we, we got into the 3800, we closed these two candles here. This was the stroke support and then big bullish engulfing. It actually is not a bullish engulfing. Actually, it is because the other one is here. So bullish engulfing and saying that the price will go up from here. And so it was already bullish. And I already bought below and I added again here. Why did I do this? I saw this all this consolidation, rejection, because when you open here, 
you see these little candles you have this support here on this the candle close and you have this week here this is where we I was waiting on this area from this week to this candle close and the price came here see to this week and that's where I was uh, where I, I was waiting and the price came and back up but anyway you could have bought here as soon as it closed above the white 21 moving average and let it go see it, there was a few times coming but if you bought here you put the stop loss here or here and this this candle here was just getting the people who bought on this breakout thinking that it will go up suddenly it came down and but as soon as it went up again you buy here on the 21 and the price has been just going up so it's all about understanding where to buy on the candles close or just buy on the on top of the 21 moving average and to put stop loss below here or three entries until here you buy one part here and then you buy another part like here you buy another part here and then you can put the stop loss here and let it go if it goes below you get out of the trade because sometimes it it goes down from there and then but as soon as it recovers you have to do it again because it's like all psychological and you always think okay it's it's already rejecting many times and goes down it will do again but suddenly it doesn't and it goes up so it's very psychological but it's all about reading the candles and to put the stop loss below the areas like here this is an area to put the stop loss this is an area to put the stop loss this is an area to put the stop loss this is an area to put the stop loss and then you can make various entries depending what you want to do with your risk management and yeah that's it okay Let's see what, what this price is doing. Uh, I need to put on the dial. What is? We are still comp really compressed between the two, this moving average, see? This will explode today or tomorrow. I think maybe today will explode up or down. We, you need to start looking what it does. So this is buy, buy, I already said. And the sales are from these tops, but we never know if it can, can come up again here. So we are on a buy area now, and the sell areas are from here and here and here. Just checking again. Yeah, start to see up green again, trying to go. If it closes, closes here, suddenly we can keep on going. Then it can close above this this area, and then as soon as it finds support here, we go up. If it rejects like these three rejections, or actually four, if we don't pass now this area here, we can come to this one. See, but it's already turning green. Very easy buy. Stop loss below, and that's it.